Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in distress. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies and those who pursue me. O Lord, let me never be put to shame, for I call on you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord. And in your goodness, set us free from the bands of sins we have committed in your in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce them. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any step of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prepare and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not cry on In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting and forgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, praise be the Lord of the King, and I am saved from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of the netherworld enmesh me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel of our day to John. Glory to you. The Jews pick up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him. We are not stoning you for, for a good word, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself gone. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said you are gods. If it calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God. If I do not perform my Father's work, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. We praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Lord. They wanted to arrest Jesus, but he knew that they Gusto nila saktan ang paginoon dahil meron silang bitihin, uh, no? na ang Panginoon ay gumawa na isang mali, no? blasphemy. At para sa kanila, ito po ay uh, may penalty, punishment na kamatayan. Pero brothers and sisters, let us reflect now in our gospel about on how Jesus performed good works, no? in our lives. Yun po ang mahalaga. At pinahalagahan ni Jesus na ang kabutihan, paggawa ng kabutihan, ang siyang dapat madaig sa atin kaysa panghuhusga sa ating kapwa. Marami po tayo uh, nakikita taong gumagawa ng kabutihan, mga taong nagsisikap uh, magbago Pero pilit pa rin natin inuusgahan ang kanilang pagkatao dahil lamang sa mga nagawa pagkakamali. Kaya ito Lenten season, papalapit tayo sa Holy Week na kung saan tayo din po ay inanyayahan ng Panginoon to examine ourselves. Tingnan natin ang ating mga nagawa sa buhay. Tingnan natin kung tayo ba ay mapangusga o tayo po ay tao mas pinibigyang halaga ang paggawa ng kabutihan kaysa pangusga sa ating kapwa. Marami po tayong magagawa kung ang inisip po natin ay kabutihan sa kapwa. 
kung ang iniisip po natin ay pagmamalasakit sa ating kapwa tao. At ito po ang siyang nagsipig inspirasyon sa ating Panginoon na kahit maraming tao na uh, nag-reject, no? ayaw tumangga o nahuhusga sa kanya, patuloy pa rin ang pagawa ng kabutihan. So ganun din na panawagan sa ating lahat kahit ano man at sabihin ng iba laban sa atin, patuloy pa rin nating gawin ang mabuti. Patuloy pa rin nating gampanan na tayo sumusunod kay Kristo at ang taong sumusunod kay Kristo ang iniisip lamang ay ang kabutihan para sa kapwa tao. Amen. Let us thank. Let us pray that God may continue to guide us through His prophets, so that we may spread the message of Christ Jesus. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Let the church be experienced in fulfilling her mission for bringing the gospel without compromise. Let us pray to the Lord, that the message of Jesus may live and may influence every level of life. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that Christians may discipline, self-discipline, especially during this potential season. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that the trials of life may not discourage us, but enable us to grow in our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who imagine that they that need the sacrament of reconciliation may be moved to humble repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, He sent us the words of the prophets to sustain our hope. Grant that we may be strengthened to do your will and to witness to our faith in you throughout our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bless our Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Bless, Bless be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness you have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that by sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the grace and glory of His name, for it will be good of all the soul and truth. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to receive, to serve ever fittingly at your altar, and learn to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its reward through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fault of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chance and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one with the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to say, Our Father, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Priestly grant peace in our days, that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I give you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. They are not worthy to enter under my, but only say the word in my soul shall be. The body of Christ. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Um, to all the teachers of CCC, teachers and uh, teaching staff, and all the students, thank you very much for joining us in this Panalagutan Mass celebration. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you all. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Um, the mass may no further go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.